of this event. In fact, he won the event six years ago. He's the only player so far to have won his quarter-final in two straight games in the men's singles discipline. Wang Suwei makes his way onto centre stage and he is trying to reach a first ever semi-final at Super 750 or above level. This is his fourth quarter-final at the India Open because he was in three consecutive quarter-finals in 2017, 18 and 19. Well, listen to the roar. Hasina Sanil Tranoi. Asian Games bronze medalist. World Championship bronze medalist. Winner of the Malaysia Masters last year. That was a 500 event. And also reached the final of the Australia Open. Can he become the third men's singles player from the host nation to win the men's singles title at the India Open? Well, this, I can tell you, will be a ninth meeting between these two players. And Tranoi holds the advantage, having won five of the previous eight, um, including horse, the last two. Black. Black. Last time was in the first round of the All England Championships okay. last year. 21-19, Who will choose? What do you choose? 20. Side? It was Reset. in Birmingham. You will serve. In Birmingham. So, Steve, you'll need to help me out there. And who won the toss of the coin? The way I saw it, the one two way on the uh, coin toss and elected to start on the near side here. Thank you. Wang Suwei is 28 years of age, so he'll turn 29 next month. The world ranking has dropped to 28, uh, but he was a top 10 player, as you can see, reached 9, uh, but that was back at the beginning of 2021. Hasn't been in a final for over four years. And as I was saying, trying to reach his first ever semi-final at this level or tournament to Super 750. Will he beat uh, two players who've been promoted from the reserve list? Kieran George, who replaced Victor Axelson, the two-time former champion, in the first round. And then in the second round, Su Li Yang from Chinese Taipei. He needed three games there to beat his teammates, Su had replaced Wudoyo of Indonesia in the draw. So to Hasina Sanil Kumar Tranoi, who is 31 years of age, brought up in Kerala on the southwestern coast, now lives in Hyderabad. And he has been as high as six on the world rankings. That was from the end of August last year. Two weeks. Oh, actually went down out of the seeding position with the world ranking that was published on Tuesday. Down to number nine. Uh, this is his fifth quarterfinal at his home event. And in the first round, he beat two-time beaten finalist Chu Tian Chen of Chinese Taipei. And then uh, Trianshu Rajawat, his teammate, needed three games coming from a game down against, uh, against Rajawat. Ready to play. So our court officials for this one from China and New Zealand. So I was telling you that Tranoi is in his fifth quarter-final. His previous quarter-finals first was 11 years ago, back in 2013, when he came through the qualifying. Lost out to the eventual champion, Li Chong Wei. I reached the quarter-final again in 2015, when he lost to Axelson. And he lost to Axelson again five years ago. 
and two years ago lost out to the eventual winner, Laksha Sen. So that's pretty special being in, eight, in five quarterfinals at your home event. But how dearly he would love to go even better. Ladies and gentlemen, on my right, Wang Ziwei, Chinese Taipei. And on my left, Brandy HS, India. Wang Ziwei to serve. Level, play. So Wang Ziwei unseeded from Chinese Taipei nearest to us in the all-white kit against India's very own Pranoy. Nice block. Well, there's going to be a huge roar from the fans every time that Pranoy wins a rally. What? <laughs> so it's over. <laughs> One love. Yeah, this is what they waited for. And, uh, yeah. He won last match of the day with uh, Shetty and Ranker ready. Special year last year, did Pranoy, as I was explaining, Steve. And what with that bronze at the Asian Games, bronze at the World Championships. Best ever year. Yeah. So it's over. And it's lovely to see One, two. with a player that's already passed the big 3 0 in age. It's got better and better, hasn't yeah, it? Yeah, and, and that's the thing. It, it doesn't necessarily have to do with age. It has to do with attitude. We've seen it with the Danish men's double of uh, Kim Astrobren and Rasmussen as well. important going into French and all England two of the last so, so really big tournaments two before three Olympic games yeah yeah getting a seeded spot at the major tournaments really is vital as I said before the qualification deadline for the Olympic Games because we have a number of big tournaments coming up before that Lovely block. So it's over. Four, two. Nice. Just tell us a little bit about one away because yeah. he, he's been in the wilderness a little bit but he's a very strong athlete uh, built Five, in a similar two. way to Cho Tien Chen the two-time beaten finalist here at the India Open yeah, he is but uh, coming into this match here I had my doubts about uh, what kind of shape is one away actually and we've seen that he's he's played players that were promoted from the reserve list so we, we don't really have a good uh, read on what kind of shape he's in, so um, so that's that's going to be interesting to see. It's a good start by Pernoy. Well, 
a full length dive from Pranoy. And then he gets the lucky net caught yeah. two shots later. That's a wonderful dive. Six, two. Danny. Amazing. And the thing about the, the playing style of, of Wang Tzu Wei is that he is not really normally built for, for this kind of uh, playing conditions, slow playing conditions, where it's possible to use the full court and play the longer rallies. He, he's really, play. really sharp at the front court. Extremely good net game and normally does well in faster playing conditions where he can get... Um, uh, so so uh, great three, attack in his six. Game. Yeah. Nice summary. the attacking play of Pranoy that's making the difference. It is. He's um, started on the side where he's playing up against the grid drift, so he can sort of set it up. He's got all options open, but uh, Eight, that's impressive three. the way he's just uh, converted his attack. Kubitschen has gotten hold of a much better cap today than uh, the previous days where it's been really cold in the arena. This is a fabulous Nine, start by Timoy. Chand on the coaching bench, also Guru's Saidat. Guru's Saidat, so one of over. four home four, players to contest ten. the men's singles at the India Open. Seems did to be. He? he did. Yeah. It was when it was a Grand Prix gold event back ah. in 2010. R&B Guru Saidat. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, your pronunciation <laughs> is much better than mine. I like the R&B thing, that's sort of like, um, that, that's a winner name, the way I see it. Yeah, he actually won the bronze medal at the Commonwealth Games, didn't he? Good shot. Wow. From Glasgow, that's a fabulous shot. So it's over. And a wonderful four, start by Pranoy in this quarterfinal against Wang Su Wei. 11-4. Seven minutes played. already 11 four eager to get on with proceedings play oh. 12 four that was so deceptive the ones away didn't even move Take a look at this. Wow.
they're trying to figure out whether it's due to the uh, choice of ends that um, the has come up with a good start or because he really is good and I tend to think that it is because he's really good. as well. Sixty-five. Oh, that's a lovely cross-court neck shot. Well, he's got the Midas touch at the moment, has Pernoy. Yeah. He was terribly disappointed last week when he lost to uh, Antonsen in, uh, in the first round. He said after the match, but uh, he, Antonsen went on to win the tournament, so for we know, Pernoy might have been the second best player in that tournament. We yeah. don't know. Absolutely. And again, playing conditions completely different. Yeah. Three points Five. away from the open game. Only been on court 12 minutes. Oh. Just wide. So this over 6 18. That's wide as well. Seven, eighteen. I do think it's important as far as Wang Su Wei is concerned that he sort of finds a bit of form before the start of the second game. One assumes that this opening game is beyond him. Yeah. I agree. We saw it earlier in the uh, Wimstubbers match where it was Yama and Shida. Got totally outplayed in the first game, but then turned the tables and uh, did the same thing to their opponents. And, uh, the second only to end up losing in the end to Chen Yu and uh, Zhang Shushan. Four, nine, it's so important 18. you get the feeling that you can score some points. I mean, at, at uh, five 
well, it was 18 uh, 5 or 17 5 you're basically um, you're not that keen on standing on the court and it's not that fun no and it was Thank 18 you. 5 back on court back on court One shy of the longest so far, I think. Longest rally of the match, I believe, is the very first rally. Just lost his balance for a noise, so just said, uh, please wait a moment. Wow. There's a, that is a demonstration of what you were talking about with his qualities at the front of the court, Wang Su Wei. was a casual backhand kill, wasn't it? Wow. Five straight points. that smash you could see that he's got heavy strapping on his back one to eight and that has been an issue for him for a number of years oh, not in that court again for for Noi so it's over 11 Opportunities. Game point 11. Play by Pranoy. 18 minutes for the first time. Brandy, sorry for the lace on the back.
Thank you. So Pranoy, the number eight seed uh, from India in his Second fifth game. quarter final at the India Rotem. Love all. One game away from a first ever Play. semi-final. Love. three times at a Super 1000 event or equivalent. Funnily enough, all three occasions was at the Indonesian Open. Yeah, good smash, Two. I like that. Love. Do you think we're going to see once away? A more aggressive style. Yes. He's certainly been very positive in the opening two rallies here, hasn't yeah. he? Yeah, I think so. He needs to be. Yet oh. another net for for so it's over. That's at least one, three. two. More aggressive um, in the front court, but but also mixing it up with. Um, Attacking clears, I would suggest. Otherwise, it becomes too easy for Pranoy to overcome the front court. Oh. Oh. That's super. Two, oh. To me, it, it looks like um, that runs away is not able to um, to follow pace if he's not in control of the rally if it's like 50 50 uh, even uh, 55 45 then then it's difficult for him to uh, to follow pace that shot by Pernoy. Away, his coach is looking a little concerned, isn't he? Play. Oh, well, here's another fun fact. So it's over. Three. Was, oh. uh, telling you that he'd been in four previous quarterfinals tonight at the India Open and each time that he's lost in the quarterfinal he's lost to a player that's gone on to reach the final. Four, three. That was certainly a chance for tonight. I have a feeling that, that last year winning that World Championship bronze medal, getting the first big World Tour win and, and getting an Asian Games medal as well, and a scrambling medal because he was not in, in his best shape there. I feel that has changed sort of the, uh, the self-picture so of Pernoy, that, that he's not afraid to go for, for the, uh, the bigger patients. Thomas Pub, of course, where India is uh, reigning champions. Yeah. And he was a very important part of the, the Thomas Cup victory. Played all six matches in the campaign. Third men singles. He will be leaving the campaign this time.
while we're watching that again, I can tell you that once away, I was holding his back and doing a, a little stretch of his back. That's not a good sign. I think it was the wrong choice of shot for him tonight. <laughs> yeah. Six, his five. Straight down the line. Almost certainly would have been a winner. Uh, first court. game, uh, the second Back game on here once away, he stopped the dominance of uh, of Pernoy. That must be a positive from a Chinese Taipei point of view. Absolutely. to uh, Pernoy's game in terms of uh, finding the lines in uh, the opponent's court. I like the idea. So the of one to eight. Six, seven. Instead of blocking to the nets, wanting to lift to the back of the court again, there was one, there was two, and there was three, all re-lifted. Whereas Brunoy was very much hoping to follow up. Missed it. Yeah, you're right, Steen. So the song he had the Midas touch, eight, the golden six. touch. It's deserted him at the moment. Yes, yes. Nice. Brilliant from one to away. No, we didn't see any of that sort Nine, of attacking play. Six. Persistent attacking play like that in the opening game. No. And I thought he'd perhaps missed his chance with that little block. Back on court. Rally so far. Play. Ten, 
six. Four one two a, and he has a very nice advantage, a five point advantage at the beginning of the here in the second game. It's annoying. That's an awful lot to think about. Well, it was a very good spell six. by once away just before the mid-game interval here in the second game. Four straight points for a five-point advantage. And some promising play. Nice. Good. He anticipated uh, the shot of uh, Pernoy. Yeah. Lovely little clip of the racket on the line. Twice. Twice. Oh. That's a can of Sarah. Thirty-six. What a turnaround here. Yeah. And not just in the score, in, in the in the way that they're playing. The way they're playing, the body language, everything. Yeah. Four. Sun's over. Seven. Thirteen. Thank you. Yeah, this is, it's, it's super important Back for on um, also both players for us away. There's only one way, and that's forward. But for, for Pernoy, it's about staying in the now, not starting to think, oh, what if I lose this second game? I finish on the uh, worst side and uh, thinking about all kinds of trouble in the future. Stay in the now. just recently Eight, about 13. his desire to follow up after a downward shot and attacking shot for Noy. Look how quickly he was in there. Yeah. And I guess that must be the uh, advice from the Indian coaches to try and play a bit more downward, keep it flat, not um, give the attacking opportunities to once away. Play. The next shot of his opponent's next shot Nine, is what 13. changed the momentum of the rally in favour of Pernoy. And here it comes. Yeah. That and, one. And he had taken it quite low, hadn't he? That was a lovely net shot. Beautiful disguise, of course, on the final drop shot. His momentum shifting once again. Well, well, well. 
thing for White away now is to uh, once in a while play. play it over for Noy so he doesn't become predictable in terms of playing the net because then it's much easier playing back at him. The same goes finally for Noy. He cannot play back at the net every single time. Four. Oh, that's a good smash towards the right so hip over. of Pernoy. 14-10. Have you noticed that Pernoy is not wearing his little uh, uh, blood sugar level device on yeah, the back yeah. of his arm? Yeah, I can't see it. Missed it. And look at the reaction. So it's over. From Pernoy, the body 11, language, the celebration. 14. away got to 13. Yes, he was 13 6 at one stage. So six of the last seven points to Pranoy. What a match we have now. Brilliant. What? Change in momentum. Seven of the last eight points. That's a good deception. Good punch, clear. Oh. Service oh, over. The pace 15, of that rally. 13. It was extraordinary. 33 shots. That's great coverage by one two eight. Getting to that cross net shot. With quality. So it's over. 16 14. Long of the back line, you know, Steen 
70, 40. In these opening two games, has really left anything on that back line. No. That's one of the few. Denoy, you're watching from the reverse angle. Hitting with the drift. a seven-point deficit at one stage. Now it's down to just one. Mm. Oh. So, so the silver, 18-16. Well, he's Bruconi challenging. challenge called out. You know, I have a feeling that there's been numerous shuttles going on with the back line. Yeah, that one was wrong. Clearly wrong. Challenge on successful. One challenge remaining. 19, so once 16. Away, just two points away from this second game. Play. That's a lovely smash. So it's over. 17, 19. Satisfied with himself there on its way. Hopefully he can keep his composure. Yeah. Yeah, so the silver 20 game points 17 tower on its way. So it is three mm. game point opportunities to force a third in deciding game. Missed it. One okay. game all. Second game, one back. One's the way. The second 21, game. 17. One game all. 44 minutes into the match. And it's one game all. Third and deciding game coming up in two minutes. <laughs>
మాక్సిమం ఆడదు కోచ్ ప్లీజ్ రిటర్న్ చూస్తే ప్లీజ్ Well, Final Nacho game. Give once away huge credit Love for the way that he battled back in that second Play. game, having been, in all honesty, pretty much outplayed in the first game. So here we go, third and deciding game for a place in the semi-final of the India Open. Nice angle. So it's over. Thank you. He had a couple of semi-finals last year at 300 events, did once away, his home event in Taipei, and also the Korea Masters, but I thought his outstanding result last year was the quarter-final at the World Championships. It was. But like I said, he, he's been bogged by injuries. He's also yeah. had a lot of first-round losses. Service over. Yes, just to go back to your point, uh, Steen, 23 oh. first or second round losses but from 26 tournaments played last year. Yeah. It's always so nice when a player has been struggling to see them back playing well, isn't it? It is. I mean, he definitely raised his game from um, the first one here. You mentioned that um, he's built like, um, much like Cho Tian Tian. And it's also sometimes we see Cho not being that interested in, in the first game if the playing conditions are very different. And then uh, coming on strong. Yeah, so over. Fun. Two, one. So economizing with the. the uh, energy and the stamina you have. Fly. He's stopping with his services, um, annoying, I think. Yeah, good attack. Yeah, that was a summer. dreadful serve towards the end of that second was. game, wasn't there? Three, was. one. Nothing wrong with that. So. Super attacking play from Pranoy. Thank you. Well played, super play by one to wait. So it's over. Maneuvering Two, his way three. forward in that rally, and, and the battle for the net has sort of moved backwards. So it's now being played uh, between the two white doubles line, the service lines there. No one is, go is going really sharp for the net. They need a fantastic opportunity to do it, otherwise, they're more content in just playing it in so the opponent can't play sharp at the net. Oh. 
Well, he's also got his uh, defense uh, going to some extent right away. That didn't uh, materialize at all during the first game until everything was lost. certainly wasn't wide, I don't think. I've got a pretty good view down that line. Yeah, uh, bringing on the uh, sideline, I, I couldn't see anything on the back line, so let's see what Hawkins says. Line judge. Challenge unsuccessful. One challenge remaining. Five, three. Play. Was that just a good return of serve, or was one to way serve loose as well? I think it was a little bit loose. shot from Pranoy. Great net exchange. For one, two, so so oh my goodness, we've seen a few neck cords in this. Six, <laughs> five. We're playing sharp. These two. I think Pranoy looks a little bit nervous. Um, he didn't in the first game, but I think the, uh, the uh, back on court. fight back from one to way has um, sort of uh, injected a, a provoked a bit of. Uh, Tension with Pranoy. Well, he's won those medals and uh, there's expectations on him. Yeah, the burden of expectation. Yeah. Seven, Sharp five. Defense. Quick racket work by once away. It's not placed Eight, well five. The first smash was placed too much to the middle. The second one 
overdone. That one was too easy. Yeah. I have a feeling that one was going out. He's pushed down once away his forehand side. He was close, that one. Had he not challenged the other one, I think he would have challenged this one. Yeah, but he's only got one challenge exactly. left. Yeah. Exactly. Brilliant. Wow. That is a fabulous smash. Nine for a miles away. And the angle he gets on that one, that's just amazing. Yeah. Bit of a reverse slice on that. Yeah. And it's four straight points. And the home fans doing what they court. can to lift Pronoy. Beautiful next Ten, shot. Five. Yeah, he's really flourished. Yeah. In the second game and here in the first part of the third, one to win. Five straight points Ball. now. But that run comes to an end. So it's over. And I sense that it Six, is desperately ten. important for Pranoy to close down this gap. Yeah. If he changes ends five points adrift and he's finishing from the end where he didn't win, I think that's quite difficult. First game where I actually uh, feared that we were never going to see the uh, strengths of uh, Wang Su Wei Thank because you. he looked outplayed Thank in that court. first game. But why has he come back and we've gotten Thank a fantastic you. match? Yeah, I think. Uh, played these last three or four rallies like a man possessed. <laughs> Fabulous.
just one point deficit. Away as the players change ends in this third and deciding game. What an excellent match we have on our hands. Minutes and that can easily be closed. What a thrilling quarterfinal. Good lift. Lovely net play. 12 9. Well, Pranoy wanted the shuttle changed. Wang Su Wei said he thought it was OK. Change the shuttle. Okay. Now the umpire <laughs> is saying, yes, change the shuttle. It's unusual. <laughs> Usually the umpire sides with the server. Absolutely. In this as well. Well, they're saying <laughs> calm down, calm down. I think the coaches need to calm down. Yeah. Of the body. Oh, 
He was ready to bounce once away. Uh, he's, he's been, so uh, over 14, 11. From uh, the second game and onwards. Take a step uh, forward in his base position, Kanoi, maybe a half a step, and then uh, work extra hard if he's overplayed. What you suggested, then uh, Steve. It looks like it. But you can see that one there. One to away, didn't want to lift. He has the advantage. He can play the back line with a little bit more confidence. Doesn't have to give it as much height. So he's just got to work in his legs, Pernoy, if um, that happens. His net play until that shot has been excellent. And if you suddenly sense your opponent is a little bit closer to the net, then it becomes more difficult. And that's why he should take advantage of the fact that he can once in a while live. And he should do it from a position where it would be uh, the read that he's playing the net back again. Level. An hour and eight minutes into this men's singles quarter final, and it's one game all and 14 all. So it's over. He did 15, 14. Under there. Back and forth. Home fans. So it's over. 
60 all. And once again, the scores are level. Basically, for both players, cover the front court, and when you get uh, the attack, don't lose balance, be ready to follow up. <laughs> There's that half step further forward to the net, 16. and as soon as he saw one to wait, take the shuttle lengths on the backhand side he was encroaching forward to look for the drop shot and Renoy back into the lead Has pushed it wrong. So it's over 17 18. But no, one's way. Such tension. away from a first ever semi-final at the India Open for Pranoy. Eighteen, nineteen. 
team. Deciding game. And I suggest that Wang Sui may have changed his mind after the drop shot was killed previously, and that was sort of an in-between shot. Yeah. Match point opportunities for Pranoy. Two of them. from behind in the deciding game. A three-point deficit in the deciding game at 11-14. 21, 11, 17, 21, and the 21, Our first 18. ever India Open semi-final for Pranoy. That was a gutsy performance. A fantastic match by both players. Lovely uh, badminton. Well, it takes two players to make a great match and spare a thought for Wang Su Wei. Oh, what a fabulous match it turned out to be. 21-11, 17-21, 21-18 in the deciding game in a match lasting an hour and 17 minutes. Welcome back to quarterfinals day here at the Yonex Sunrise India Open. After that fantastic men's singles, we finish with two men's doubles quarterfinals. And um, first up are the world champions at Kangnam Seoul from Korea, the number three seeds. Up against the former world number ones, Alfian and Ardianto of Indonesia. 
Well, the men's doubles draw from the quarterfinal stage, seven of the eight seeds, but eight different nationalities. It's only the third time that's happened in the history of the Super Series Grand Prix Gold and now World Tour. It really is a rarity. Well, uh, the former world champions, Hoki and Kobayashi, they're safely through.